Okay, it's too hot inside to be doing anything and don't feel like turning the lights on to look at everything proper so we're out here in better light. Alright, let's start here at the neck and see what we've done. Got everything nice and sanded down, got all the goopies off. It's back to natural wood. There's some staining on here, I'm not sure where that's from. But uh, it's all looking smooth. And uh, back is all all done down to 320 with or yeah 320 with the uh, the back edge all rounded nicely where it's not pointed for pain. Still got to clean out the the cavities and 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 uh, get them ready for shielding. Right here is where we start coming into the issues. So, let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. You see how that neck is set, where the the edge of the neck is actually overhanging the body. This managed to somehow be shaped where it's smooth. It's just a little bit low right there. But this binding is actually underneath the the uh, fretboard here. So, that said, let's, see. let's go the right way here. Turn her over. Let's see where we're at now. We'll start with the body. Still have to still have to sand along here, but I wasn't going to put the effort into it until I put this video out and and uh, let a discussion happen. The binding is pretty much salvageable. There's only one one real bad ding in it right there. That I'm not sure how to fix that. I may try to swallow that wood, but I doubt that's going to do anything. Um, top is sanded down nice. There's a couple couple divots in there, but all this is going to get grain filled tonight. And uh, I took the time and scraped the neck with a razor blade. And uh, I'm not sure. Where, there we go. But that neck put a put two coats of oil on it last night and let it soak in just to get it back to normal. But the statement was made is that that neck looks so sweet and yes it does. So we're not arguing that with that headstock flattened out nice. Not sure what I want to do with the nut. Um, when I played around with it, when I first got it, the action on this was crazy good. If it wasn't for the misalignment, there wouldn't be anything needed for this. But as it is, there's some a little bit of fret sprout, but frets need some love anyway. I haven't done them yet. So they'll all get leveled and polished and, and fixed up. Now, here's where the dilemma starts that I need everybody's input. What is wrong with this picture? Can anybody see it? Obviously, I've never seen a neck joint like this. You can see where it's flush to the edge here and, and the neck comes up to the body. This side is undercut by almost three eighths of an inch underneath the fretboard. And I think this is where they went wrong in getting, getting the uh, alignment right. So, now that it's cleaned off and I can see actually what's there, um, my question would be, is, if he's focused, is if it's still worthy to, come on, focus, still worthy to go on. Or is it uh, probably a better idea to get this neck off and uh, see what we can do about realigning it proper and maybe getting that fretboard back over the binding where it's supposed to be and in line. I'm going to uh, 
stop the video here. I'll go get the ruler and I'll mark out center lines and we'll see where we're at on that so it gives you more information. All right, be back in a minute. All right, so marked out my lines. I have, that's the neckline with the ruler up against the neck to the inside. That's the neckline with the ruler up against the neck to the end. Transitions back through here, back through here. This top line here is is the center line of the neck where it is currently set and then the bottom line here is the center line of the pickups cavities inside to inside so we're looking at a good two to three three millimeter shift so the question is question is is do I shift fill these in and shift them that way or no it would come this way to get them back up back in line or do I try to pull the neck and go through all that and straighten it that way and adapt whatever we need to in here to to do that where edge to edge is filled in on the neck and in line properly with the body. So any and all input on this would be wonderful. So I'll let this go for a couple days and see what the general consensus is and make my plan of action from there.